What is most awkward Halloween costume guess you've ever gotten wrong? A buddy of mine, when he was maybe 5 or 6, really wanted to be a horse for Halloween. His mother and grandmother worked very hard on the costume, so the big day came and there was a costume contest at his school. He thought he had a good shot of winning. He was very proud of the costume, so who was the big winner? Everyone thought my buddy in the horse costume was Alf. He cried the whole time while collecting his prize. I thought that I looked like a Borg from Star Trek. Everyone else thought I was the Gimp from Pulp Fiction. Like, everyone. Wasn't me, but I was in a dorm elevator with a few other people and a girl looks over to a group of guys and goes oh are you guys going to the white trash party? They weren't. Ron Weasley, I was actually dressed as Arthur Dent, but I have red hair, so. One year I was in Avogado, like one split in half with the pit still intact. Some guy at a party said, dude, are you the Incredible Hulk's clit? Dude doesn't even know she Hulk, not impressed. Not a costume mistake, just my dad being a dumb kid. When he was 11-ish, he was watching a World War II movie. He was too young to realize what the war was about, or that it was even real history. He just thought the German soldiers had really cool outfits marches. He begged my grandmom, his mom, to make him a costume. She, being the I'll always say yes type of mother, made him a Hitler costume. Halloween night everyone in the neighborhood did a costume parade for the kids. He walked through the predominantly Jewish community goose stepping, wondering why everyone was booing. He still hasn't forgiven my grandmother for not explaining to him why he shouldn't wear that costume. That is a hilarious visual if you imagine the kid smiling from ear to ear. Not me, but a student teacher in high school. A fairly large, really large, girl dressed up as a Dalmatian that year. The student teacher mistook her for a cow, in front of the whole class. I cross-dressed once a few years back for Halloween, had girls help me out and did not tell a soul I was doing it. People didn't think I was in costume, got hit on, and people thought it was awkward when my then GF made out with me. I went as a teabag and everybody thought I was a bag of weed. After a while, I just went with it. It's a good thing you didn't insist on correcting them all night, as you'd end up being remembered as a douchebag. At a college Halloween party, my sweet mate's girlfriend was a sailor in white and blue. I asked her if she was the Pillsbury Doughboy. Every year my girlfriend and I walk all over downtown taking pictures with random people in the costumes. One time I took a picture with a homeless guy thinking that he was a post-apocalyptic survivor. Ended up giving him $10 to iron out some of the awkwardness after. In 1986, I was 9. The year Halley's Comet made an appearance, I dressed as Edmund Halley. Most people thought I was supposed to be George Washington. Obviously, I was one of the cool kids. It seems like black people have the most awkward Halloweens. It's not clear to white people that blackness isn't a costume. When I was 12 I went as Britney Spears schoolgirl version. My brother was a hobo and my friend a fairy. We went trick or treating and some lady answered the door and said, let me see. So we have a green thing with wings, a hippie, and a S. The lady was actually predicting your futures, not commenting on your costumes. Not my guess, but the story is too good to pass up. My best friend, who's Asian, dressed up as the Unabomber last weekend, complete with sunglasses, woody and a fake mustache. Upon arriving, girl sitting next to me goes wow, nice dirty Mexican, you don't even look white. Back in middle school one year I went as Neo and my friend went as Blade. Everyone thought we were the trench coat mafia, this was terribly awkward. In college, I was called trench coat mafia, it wasn't Halloween. Ugly Betty, I wasn't in costume, I have glasses. Ugly Betty isn't ugly though. This wasn't Halloween. But I once went to work and caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. I was wearing a white short sleeve polo, very blue pants, and black dress shoes with a thick heel. That's when I realized I was dressed exactly like Homer Simpson. A friend planned a trashy themed pub crawl, where most people came wearing threadbare, crappy, thrift shop clothing. One dude came wearing Gucci shades, Sevens jeans, Ed Hardy shirt, the whole deal. I complimented him on his creative interpretation of trashy, he was not in costume. 
I was wearing a suit, a cape, a skull mask resting on the top of my head, not on my face, and holding a scythe. A girl walked by me and said, OMG, are you a hobbit I'm short, but seriously, a hobbit? I didn't guess someone, someone guessed mine. She thought I was Robin Hood, a female Robin Hood. I was Link, I'm a guy. I was at a party when a guy in glasses wearing nothing but cut off jeans and green body paint walks by. Sort of like a green version of Tobias Funky in blue man group paint. I stop and ask him if he is dressed as the Hulk. He looks at and says no, the Hulk doesn't wear glasses. I reply so what are you supposed to be he then looks at me p frick you he walks away. My confusion leads me to go back up to him and ask what I did to offend him. He responds by shoving his hand in my face screaming at me to get away from him. I was so dumbfounded I didn't know how to react. I just walked away and I still don't know what he was dressed as. I wish I had never read this comment for it the questions raised will bother me for the rest of time. A gay guy at work brought in a picture of him and his partner in superhero costumes. My guess. So, you guys went as the ambiguously gay duo nope. Fantastic 4. I don't follow superheroes and I tried my best. My best friend is a cute black girl. No matter what her costume is, the majority of guesses are Beyonce. Could be worse. A pregnant nun. She wasn't pregnant. As a general life rule, I don't call anyone pregnant unless I can see a head poking out. Last night my friend had a few too many drinks in him. Just as we're stepping outside to get some air, a young lady walks into the costume party. He stops and yells to me. Holy crap. She's Harry Potter. That's awesome. He then high fives her. She explained to us that she was not in costume. She was a piano teacher coming straight from work. She looked literally nothing like Harry Potter. She fooled all the muggles. Drunken me. What are you? A s fairy or something? Her. I'm an angel. Not in that outfit you're not. In this case, the costume was more awkward than the guesses. In third grade, I somehow convinced my mom to make me a meep. From Commander King 3. Costume. She was well aware that no one would have any idea what it was, and that this would make me upset. But I was insistent. I wish I still had pictures, because it was pretty authentic, basically just a round green thing with a big mouth. But that's all a meep is. Needless to say, my mom was right. Frog was the most common guess, which sort of pee me off. But I got really angry when various adults managed to guess obscure characters that I also loved. Slimer from Ghostbusters a green Pac-Man inky from Pac-Man. That weren't right. Pretty sure my mom never made me a costume again. Upvote for Commander Fricking Keen. I came to work dressed as a ninja, and everyone thought I was a terrorist. One lady saw me walking in, went bug-eyed, and ran back into the lady's room. Even after I told my, then, boss I was a ninja, he kept saying stuff like, you should have brought a gun, you should shout something in gibberish like aaaa, he's an idiot. Not sure if idiot co-workers or cheap ninja costume. I guess she was Pat from SNL. She actually wasn't wearing a costume. I dressed as a steampunk airship pilot. Went out in Saint Louis. Everyone thought I had a phenomenal Charles Lindbergh costume. An old man sang a song to me about it. The best thing about steampunk is that even if they have no idea what you're doing, you still look classy as heck. In high school everyone would wear costumes to school on Halloween. I decided to go with the classic sheet on the head with holes cut out of its ghost costume. Everyone thought I was a clansman. On Halloween in 2001 I dressed up as Abe Lincoln. Even though I'm a girl, it was a last minute costume. I was in 7th grade and didn't think I was gonna go but my friend called me on the actual day. My friend's dad took us. And at one house, he asked the man who was giving out the candy to guess who I was. He guessed Osama. I went to a Halloween party at a bar several years ago. I saw a man of considerable girth wearing a Hawaiian shirt, a baseball cap, a mustache, and aviator shades. I proudly approached him, tapped his shoulder, and as he turned I declared, freaking perfect John Candy. He just shouted, I'm Magnum freaking P.I. Butthole. Great job staying in character. That's the best John Candy as Magnum P.I. costume I've ever seen. 
One year I went as Calvin and Hobbes. I had the black pants, the red t-shirt with horizontal black stripes, and a wig of messy blonde hair. I even had a stuffed tiger to carry around. Everyone thought I was Siegfried and Roy. I retaliated, Calvin style, by making stupid faces every time a camera was pointed at me. Back in 04 in high school I dressed up like a hobo once. Got a crappy trench coat, beanie, wore 6 watches on one arm and a bag on one foot instead of a shoe. To top it off I got a fake beard and an empty root beer bottle. This was some quality hobo wine. First house we go trick or treating to- I tell my friends to wait before ringing the doorbell. So I can act like I was sleeping on the doorstep. I get in position and they ring the doorbell. The kid that opens the door with his mom yells Osama bin Laden and kicks me in the head. Q headache and a slew of are you Osama questions all night. I guess brown and beard equals terrorist. Till hobos wear multiple watches at the same time. Last year at this party I saw this girl with a bumpet in her hair, super tan, skanky heels so I was like, oh hey that's funny, you're snooky, I'm Hermione Granger she looked at me and said, why do people keep saying that, I'm not wearing a costume, awkward, she deserves it. I can relate to the OP, earlier today I saw what I thought was somebody dressed up as predator from the corner of my eye, looked over and saw it was just a black guy with epic dreadlocks. A friend of mine decided to go as Che Guevara this year, everyone else thought he was Gaddafi, or Carlos Santana. Me, oh cool, OS vampire, her, I'm not dressed up for Halloween, me, oh cool, OS. A Walmart employee tapes Walmart bags over the entirety of her person. This random mash of oil, sweat and plastic was supposed to represent a bag lady. She asks me what I think her costume is and the first thing that comes out of my mouth is, your Walmart trash. It was awkward, because she didn't laugh and I simply squinted my eyes as close to shut as possible. P.S. Clint Eastwood would have approved of my squinting skill. Crap, I said something offensive. Better squint. Not sure if this counts, but we often did group costumes in college. Junior year, we decided to go as Greek gods and goddesses. That was definitely our poorest year as a group. There were 6 girls and I was one of only 2 guys that did it. My friend went as Zeus, lightning bolts. Pretty easy. I could have been Poseidon, have a nice trident, maybe go as Apollo, something to do with the sun. Nope, I chose Hades. I thought I'd try to look like Hades from Disney's Hercules. It was actually pretty close. But when you humanize a cartoon character with flaming blue hair, pale skin and dark eyes, turns out it's pretty gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. One person that night recognized me as Hades. Everyone else, though, had a different interpretation. I said, ah, you're pothead to a girlfriend's friend. Nope, Johnny Appleseed. Don't say Miss Piggy. Don't say Miss Piggy. I'll give you a hint. I'm a beloved character from our childhood. I dressed up as Captain Falcon from F-Zero and was sprinting down a hill when a girl shouts, Are you Mega Man? Her boyfriend in an angry rage yelled, No, he's C. Falcon. Why are we even dating and he slapped her. I couldn't stop laughing when she punched him in the gut. I have a good friend of mine whom I have known since about age 6. Well, around age 6 or 7 he had soft tissue cancer behind his left eye and lost his eye. Instead of getting a fake glass eyeball, he went the route of just no eye and they grafted a piece of skin over the eyeball socket. Well, now flash forward to his age of 24, and I cannot count the hilarious times that people have asked how did you get the mask so perfect or some variation thereof. We used to prank people and tell them, it's not a mask. There was a BB gun accident when we were kids, anyways. Felt that was relevant. TLDR. I have a friend with one eye. Cancer. Around this time of year, he is better off not leaving the house. The story is funny, but that doesn't seem like too great of a prank. We used to prank people and tell them he lost his eye in a different way than he really did. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.